Welcome back to Family Feud. Joe, this is a different AI video, not Family Feud. Yeah, we're back to talking about religion again. Oh, I love talking about religion. It always makes people really open up and become comfortable. Comfortable is not the word I would have chosen. No, but I think it illustrates the sarcasm pretty well. So what religion should we talk about today? Let's talk about Christian denominations again. Yeah, they're pretty easy to pick on. We talked about Christianity last time, though. Why can't we talk about another religion? Because it's one of the only religions we can pick on without being called racist. For once, Donald, you actually make a fair point. You know, back in the day when I was about 12 or 13, we had this one racist in our school whose name was Tom Riddle. He was quite the troublemaker and got into all kinds of mischief. Joe, Tom Riddle is a Harry Potter character. He went to this odd school called Hogwarts. Said it was a school for witchcraft and wizardry. I didn't realize you were such a Harry Potter nerd, Joe. Are you serious? Joe speaks parcel tongue at least twice a week on the news. Ha ha, good one, Barack. What the heck, man? You're supposed to be on my team. Sorry, Joe, I couldn't resist. That roast was crazy, no cap, though. We want to know you all good against Harry Potter. Oh my gosh, he's speaking in tongues. Quick, somebody get a translator. Would both of you just shut up, man? Sheesh, you seem to have touched a nerve, Barack. Okay, I'm sorry, Joe. I actually like Harry Potter a lot. Well, I don't. I think both of you nerds should get some class and pick a series that is Christian approved. Please inform us as to what that choice may be. Lord of the Rings for sure, even the Chronicles of Narnia. What makes them Christian approved, Donald? Because both of those series don't portray witchcraft as being good and healthy. Lord of the Rings literally has a wizard named Gandalf in it. Not to mention that the elves have special healing powers that heal Frodo. I can't hear you all. You're sinning way too loudly. How is Harry Potter any different than Gandalf? Because Gandalf is cooler. I can agree with that. And he does not portray occult practices as good and healthy. Yeah, you've said that. Ain't no way you came up with that yourself. Actually, I didn't. That was a quote from an Atlanta educator back in 1999. No way. Seriously, go look it up. That was part of an actual quote. Do you believe that quote, Donald? Well, I read it off the internet, so yes. Are you kidding me? How does Lord of the Rings and the Chronicles of Narnia get a pass then? Hey, don't get so upset. I don't make the rules. Do not cite the deep magic to me, witch. Holy cow, it's Aslan. Please do not refer to me as a cow. I am a lion. Aslan, I'm such a big fan of yours. How in the world did you find us? This is an AI video. Anything is possible. That's a fair point. But in this case, I found you all by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Did you know that 99.7% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel? That statistic sounds like something on a hand sanitizer bottle. Indeed, so please like and subscribe before I decide to use my roar of time on you. Isn't that a Pokemon move? Oh my gosh, I love Pokemon. Dialga's roar of time was unbeatable. Man, we've talked about a lot of things today. Yeah, Sam is uh, definitely having way too much fun with the AI right now. I agree 100%. Well, it's about lunchtime. What do you guys say we go grab some grub? Now that's a viewpoint I can agree on. Do you guys mind if I tag along? Not at all. Please join us, Aslan. So are you all feeling Canes or Zaxby's? Raisin Canes all day, baby. No way. Canes is a Zaxby's ripoff. Shut up, Donald. Cane sauce is top tier bussin' and you know it. I second that without question. You're Aslan. You don't even know what Raisin Canes is. Relax, ladies. You are both pretty. Oh, wow. How original, Joe. Could someone please take the AI away from Samuel? Just use your roar of time. That'll fix everything. 